Wow, one again family, welcome back to another recap. Now imagine you have a very good life back home. You know, you have your very own business, money you make, and you're comfortable. But you meet a partner who lives overseas and you decide, say, you want to make life with that person. So you get rid of everything where you have back home. You know, you sell out your business, sell out all of your furniture, them and all of them things there, and leave to go make life with this person overseas. You know, leave your kids back home because you say, well, that whatever you go overseas for is to make life even better for them. But then you end up to the partner and that person is someone extremely controlling. How would you deal with that situation? Well, that is what today's recap is all about. This general right here shared an unstoppable life that, you know, he was in a very good position back home, but he met his wife, them get married, you know, he transitioned to the US and as soon as him get there, the woman was extremely controlling. The woman even get upset if him try to send money back home to him pitney them. It reached the point where they have to start hide if he send money to him pitney. Family. Take a listen to this episode that was shared on Unstoppable Life. First, you know, I was back in my country and I met a woman, you know, and after coming out from my first divorce, from my first wife, met a woman and, you know, we got married and and she said that, um, hey, you're coming to the, you're coming to the States. And I said, well, okay, all right. And uh, we decided after we got married, she put in the papers and, you know, I started to work. Which I was working. Then I started, I was working and I had my own business. And, you know, we started to get along. Everything was good. Everything was good. All I cut to the chase when I touched down at JFK Airport, right? I, Come to America, that's five years ago. I had 4,000 US in my pocket. All right, come in, okay. You know, you're coming to your, your wife and thing, all the excitement is there. And I took the 4,000 US and I give it to her. And then she said she's going to put it in the bank and we can open a joint account. I feel good and everything was good and thing. To my surprise, the first four months, when I realized that this woman is not putting my name on the account, and I keep asking her, I said, hey, why are you not putting my name on the account? And this woman started, you know, make all sorts of excuses. That is a hard thing, and I got to wait on my social security, and what, 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 what. All right. We end up into an argument about that. Then she took me to the bank, and she put my name on the account. Then... The, she started with something. That's the first thing I started to notice. Everything she started to tell me what to do, you know, started to control me, basically control. And I spoke to her about it. I said, hey, babes, you know, why why, why, why you want to tell me when to eat, what to wear, when to stand up, where to go, and all these things. Then I know I'm coming to America. I know I have family here. So, you know, when I come, I reach out to some of my family. I got friends to me. Well, that, well, that. And I remember one time I, I keep telling her, I said, you know, I wanted to go and see my uncle because my uncle is not well. Don't mind me. My uncle lives about 86 miles away from me. And she keep making all sorts of excuses and all these things. And one day I decided to put down my foot on it. And I said, hey, I'm going to see my uncle. And that's after two years. After two years. All right. Now, I, when I came, I, I told her, I said, you know, I got to um, send money back home because I got, you know, my grandma children. Which is, she knows. She knows everything. I'm not that she didn't know. She knew everything. I started to work. I think the first two months I came here after, as soon as I got my um, social security, I started to work. I didn't even wait to get my temporary green card. I started to work. Then I keep telling her, I said, girl, I got to send money home. I got to send money home. Then she told me, I'm going to send $40 home. Don't mind me, huh? 
when I come and you know the place I had to depend on her. If the turn left, I had to depend on her. If the turn right, I had to depend on her. So I was like, $40. She said, yes, yeah, send $40. Then to back it up, my ex-wife and her had a bitter word of exchange. It was bitter. It wasn't anything pleasant. So I said, man, no, man, I ain't right. $40, how come, how come we can send $40? All right. We went on, we went on, we went on, we went on, we went on. I didn't send anything for my kids for well, like two years. So I keep telling her, I said, man, listen, I want to go back home. I want to go back home, you know, because I want to go see my kids. It's two years now when I want to go see my kids. And it ended up into a big hurrah. Every time I said I want to go home, you know, she keep threatening me at that this time, this two year time from the, the, the day I came here to two years. Because remember, after two years, you have to send in your temporary green card and wait for your permanent green card to come. So after I keep telling her, man, listen, mom, one of my aunt died. And I was like, man, listen, I want to go back home and all these things. To my surprise, this woman started to keep a set of nice, cost me out, very, very, very. It so happened, it explored. Then she said, I'm calling her mother. And her mother come, mind me. When I come to America, I met this woman at her house and three daughters, grown girls. And she called her mother. So when her mother come now, and she tell her mother, Mommy, yeah, he want to go back home. I don't know. He want to go back home for them. I turned to her mother, which is my mother. I said, man, she failed to realize that I got my mother, I got my brother, and I got kids back home. Then, to my surprise, man, her mother turned and tell me that, do you know a lot of men come to America and turn their back? Unstoppable, when that woman tell me that, I freeze. I freeze. Then she turn and tell me, oh, people don't come to America and go back home. You need to turn your back. So for cut the argument, me shut my mouth. Me not say nothing. Time go on. Everything nice. Then my mother called me, my mother said, buy me, no, me want to come to the States. So I said, all right, mommy, me give me money, my information. And I decided to say, well, mommy, go and go and get a visa and thing, which in my mother did, then my mother get you, my mother come up. My mother come up here for two weeks. Two weeks. My mother had to cut short my stay. Because from the time we went and pick up my mother at the airport, this woman arguing with me in front of my mother and all these things. I went down one time we were having breakfast and something I turned and I tell her. And this woman start cursing me to suck your mama bum, ba, 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 in front of my mother. When me watch this woman at the come to me, I, my mother get up from the table, my mother went upstairs in the bedroom. They were make upstairs and say, Mommy, don't worry, man. Then my mother says, yes. they say, it's not for me. Then my mother says, listen, I'm going to cut my vacation shot. I'm going to go back home. I said, no, mommy. Mommy, still your vacation. She said, no, me, I'll go back home. Unstoppable. You ask any man if you cut me in a see blood. I mean, I said nothing. This is the third year. Keep my mouth shut. I continue, I continue, everything going. When I said everything going, we shopping, we traveling, we living life. Then we decide, because first when I come and I, I get a little warehouse work. Then we realize, we say, you know what, opportunity come up for me to go back to school. So we work and we save up my money. And then we went to school. Right? When we graduate, get my license and thing, then we go into this 
Fucking. Fair enough. Don't mind me, I'm going to back it up a little. The $4,000 that me come to America with, after she opened the giant account, me take out my money, we went and buy a car. So me a roll, you know, me a roll hefty and thing. So after me get my license and thing, things start looking up. I start getting more money. We start shopping. Now no three cents, a little bit of shopping, we shopping. Every weekend, we dining, we eating, we living large. Why? One day, me just both she and I, we just come back from the restaurant. Then my phone ring. Then my phone ring now, I'm my daughter. Me tongue, she said, Daddy. I said, Hi, baby. She said, Daddy, I call you. I said, What happened? She said, Daddy, me hungry. I said, What do you mean you're hungry? I said, Your mother, I gave you food. She said, Mommy, I got nothing to cook. I said, All right. Now, me take it upon my heart. Go on, go tell the woman that me think is a wife to me. I take it upon my heart. Go tell her, well, hey, you know, my daughter just got and she said that she hungry in the morning. She more than I got nothing to cook. Poor unstoppable. If you hear that woman went down. So we should call you for. We, 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 we should call your mother. But I don't, don't mind me, you know. It's a little six year old girl, you know. This is a little six year old girl. Unstoppable the night, me not sleep. Me not sleep, brethren, me not sleep. Me not sleep. Then me tell her, me say, man, watch. You know, I can send money. The woman get up the money, get up the house, and the man take out my bank card, out my wallet. Don't mind. All of my finances, she knows about. Because the joint account that we got, my my paycheck goes to that account. Everything was open up. Now I hide none of my finance from her. So after that, I start looking into things. Then she turned and tell me how oh, she hear the picking them and now me pick me, blah blah blah. This woman give me I think it's fifteen hundred US. Buy a ticket and tell me, me must go back home and do a DNA on my picnic. Then me, then me tell her, me say, listen, I don't want my picnic, you know. She say, yes, but I don't, it ain't, they don't look like you won't go and do a DNA. Let's go with my daughter. She insists. To please her, me went and do the DNA on my daughter. Because this woman going all out. Me went and do the DNA. When the results come in, 99.9 is my child. All right. Then I, I tell her. Let me, <laughs> let me stop you for a minute because I've listened to enough for me to start to ask some questions now. Mm -hmm. First of all, when you met this woman, she knew you had kids, right? Yes. And she had an issue with them before you all got married? No, you know, no, no. So you got married no. to this woman. She knew you had kids back home. No, she has in a pro she have a problem with you. No, your six year old daughter call you and say, no, any good woman who yes. genuinely loves a man would want that man to take care of his responsibilities, meaning his children. Any good woman right. would, would want that. So to hear you say that she has a problem with you sending... No, this, this something, something just doesn't sound right at all. It, uh, all right, so when you did the DNA mm. test, right? Mm -hmm. When she gave yes. you this money to do this DNA test, how did that make you feel yeah. as a father knowing that, well, this is your, your, your child and your wife is telling you you need to do a DNA test. How did that make you feel? Man, that make me feel real. My words can't even explain how me feel. 
words cannot explain how me feel. Which one of your kids? Go, which one of your kids you you did the DNA test on? The six year old one. Thank God, because thank God she was th that child was much older to to really understand what was happening. Thank God. You know because because the reason why me say words can't explain the words them that she call my picnic them. She call my picnic them the B word, but. You know, may I tell you, she wants to fight my picnic them for the mother. You know, and the mother, because remember, she and the mother bitter. You but, know, uh, all right. She, uh, you said she call your, your children the B word. So, one is six. How old are, how old are your kids? The eldest is 22, then I got a daughter is 19, and then I got a six year old one. And these are the older ones. Are they familiar with how she feel towards them? The my nineteen year old daughter, she she she's familiar with it because she just asked me. She said, "Daddy," I say, "Yes." Yeah. She said, "Daddy, why is it that you can't come home? Why is it that it take you so long to come home? You know, me try me, me like to her. Me said, "Daddy, you have to work. Daddy, you have to this. Daddy, you have to that. All these things." You know, me don't tell me don't me, me don't tell my picnic them the truth. Yeah, yeah, I mean you can't tell them something like that because that would genuinely hurt if you tell them something like that. Well the reason why me stay because remember before me come, me sell out everything we may had, you know, back home. Everything me sell out, me left my business, me left everything and me give up everything, me go and come in. And then me tell myself, me say boy, I me cut and run, me go lose because how how me go, go back home, me go back home too. You understand me? It's starting all over again. And don't get me wrong. Me been out there. Me know, me know about starting all over again many times. And the and older me get in life, me can continue like that. One of the things them also make me, me decide to stay, me say, you know what? Because every time me and she get in an argument, the woman will threaten me. Don't worry. You're going to want me to sign your papers. Don't worry. Because remember now, the temporary green card up. Right, that is up after the first two years you come. She have to sign the papers when you put in to remove um, the thing called conditional resident. To remove conditional on your green card, right, you have to send in paperwork. Some people had to do a second interview. So she was holding that, holding me at ransom for that. So because of that, enough time me had to bow down me have to bow down because me know for a fact that he, she have a um, she have a sign in order to remove condition off of me green card. So when one of the things them that you know another thing too that me hit me, don't get me wrong, eh? All these things going on, we shopping, we doing, we doing thing, we going for vacation and thing. Then one time it hit me and. Me went, I think is Walmart or one of the places them buy and me buy six pair of shoes for my daughter. Right? Trust me. The six pair of shoes me pay about forty dollar a cheap thing me buy. Then then me come on now, me come on excited go and tell her, say hey, you know me getting why this woman blew up the that break the camel back there. Then when me call me uncle, me tell me uncle, me say, you know, me buy things for me daughter, and then, you know, the way my wife go on. Right? And then is when my uncle told me, my uncle said, bro, I listen. You know, no woman in a woman back home and woman here, two different things. Buy you pick me them thing and go and bring it by me and go and hide it. And that's how me start. Me start buy things for me pick me them and me start hide it. Start carrying by my uncle and hide it. Another thing too, with this woman used to do me. When time come during the three year that we talking about, when my picnic them got forget thing, the woman I carry me out by them cheap, them cheap store goodwill and all them things that buy second hand thing from a picnic them. And don't get me wrong, eh? When me and she go shop, we are by Louis Vuitton, Gucci. You know, a big time we are shop, we are shop of ten thousand dollar. 
And then, one day I said to myself, I said, no man, this can't work. This can't work. So, after me know a girl, when we used to work at the factory, me know a girl. So, me go on to the girl, me tell her, me say, hey, me not know for buy woman thing, but you could direct me, and the girl tell me, yeah man, come, me go direct your thing. And then me go start by brand new clothes, so me, me pick me them, and me carry them by my uncle, and stash it, and you know, I may start post one and two bucks and things for my picnic them. Then, me decide for several hours. Me used to lie to her and tell her that me owe my uncle money. So, when me cook on the account and me draft the money, me used to go to Walmart and MoneyGram and go and send the money. Remember? I send the money. Me can't send the money to my picnic them. I have to send the money to the mother. You know, me have to send the money to the mother. And so me a duck and hide. When me see people that know she, me have to duck and hide in the line. Sometimes me have to walk out the line like if me a buy something because me don't want nobody to tell her really me there me, 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 me a money gram line. Because remember, yeah, remember, when me tell me, uncle, my uncle tell me, play me, uncle say, yeah, she would do it. She would have you sent back. And me say, well, all right, go, me go and hold it down. Then, it go on like that, non-stoppable, me fed up hiding. If me got to hide for sin for me pick me them, you know, me fed up, me fed up, me really fed up. Me fed up hiding stuff. Or only put thing me buy from pick me them, and so me got to hide and talk and left it by friend and all kind of thing. Tell, tell the viewers about the, the, the toothbrush situation, because even that well, is, is so petty. But after the mother, my ex-wife tell me, she said, why? Your daughter got to get two brush. I said, well, all right, good. I go buy two brush and put it in the box and send. Boy, I don't know. I go in the dollar store for something. And then I see the two, two brush with the cartoon character upon it. So I said, well, all right, I go and pick up two. So when I come home now, I tell her, because reaching whenever I pick them, they may, at that time I used to have to tell her, right? Say, hey, my pick me need school shoe. She would carry me to the store to buy the school shoe and things. So, you know, so me tell her, me say, she see me with the two toothbrush, is she? What are you doing with them two toothbrush? I say, man, me selling it for my picnic. To my surprise, you know, the woman tell me, the woman says, send one. I say, yeah, man. I say, I say, come on, man. I say, me say, right, it, man. A, a dollar for one. You could tell me, send one toothbrush. I say, when she use this one toothbrush and this one toothbrush wash up, she have to call me back for send another one. Eh? I said, come on, man. And this woman went on. This woman went on just because I sent two dollar two brush for me pick me them. Two. Me even turn and tell her, I said, listen, you want you want you want me, me baby mother them, can me go court and charge me for child support? Because if this is the way Every time I have to send things for my picnic them. And you know what I did? You know what I did? I said, you know what? I want to see the true woman. Brother, let me tell you. For four months, I not call my picnic them. I not send nothing. Why? This woman was happy. This woman was happy. I saw we party and we drinking and thing. And then at the end of the four months, I said, you know what? I call my brethren, and I tell my brethren, I said, brethren, this woman is a wicked woman, you know? This woman is a wicked woman, brother. You know? And the thing is about it is that it's not that we, we get money. You know? We get money. Look, when my baby mother called me, she said, why, your daughter want to go to the doctor. And I said, how much money for carry, carry my daughter, doctor? She said, well, 150, 150, let's say 150 US. No, at the time he come, he said, you say, should what happened? I said, man, my daughter ain't feeling good, man. We got to go send some money to her. She said, how much? I said, man, I don't know, but the mother said 150. Well, you know me as a man, I go and send 200. I can't send direct 150. You know, I can send 200. The woman come with me. 
don't get me wrong. First when me come, then I'm not a way me go. She don't go. I do we all the time together. All the time. Anyway, me turn. I do we are there together. Me can't go nowhere. And right now, me are living at the house here right now. Not a friend. Not nobody can come, go and come see me. Nobody. So, when me think at the Western Union, big argument between me and she, you know. Big argument. Just because me has sent an extra $50. Unstoppable. Me went so far. Me call me baby mother, me tell her, me say, listen, and believe me, unstoppable. My pick me them back home, me family them back home. None of them not know the amount of money me are worth for, you know. Them not know how the kind of money me are splurred over here. And every day me heart to cry. You know, me call me baby mother back home, and me tell her, me say, listen, tell me to quote. She was like, I'm wrong with you. I said, you can't summons me. You can't kill me to court for child support. She said, no, nah, I mean, I do that. I said, man, do it. Then she was like, she said, wait, you're in your right senses. I what happened? What's going on? I said, nothing ain't going on, man, but you just do that for me. Because me think that is the only alternative that me can show this woman for several years. Me have to mind me, pick me. Me even said, me go go talk to a lawyer, but then when, you know, my uncle tell me, my uncle said, why? A very hard thing for when a woman over here, you know. He said, boy, listen, you're going to file for abuse, but you never know how we're going to work out. At the end of the day, you're going to have to come out of the woman's house, and you never know. And at that time, she can decide to say, well, okay, God. He said, he said it is different with a man than a woman. He said, a woman is more able to get through in terms of that. I said, yes. He said, but don't get He said, when you're going to file for abuse, she can trump up anything against you. He said, you know, women got more rights in America. Uh, uh, that made, and, uh, you know, that, that going back down my courage. I mean, was like, man, look, let me live sleeping dogs like, boy, because I be a threat. This woman a threat me. Be a threat. This woman a threat me. Oh, you want this? But trust me, when it comes to me and she going shopping and vacation and all them things, oh, the world is beautiful. The world is beautiful. But one thing I said to myself, you know, they ain't got no woman can stop me from minding my picnic them. At them are my picnic. And me realize that me I go through this from my picnic. Me, me, me not gonna go through this all the days of my life. You know. But me only go through this for a time. And them are my picnic. And no woman that walk this court could get me on my back on my picnic them because one thing may know unstoppable one thing may know for sure when a man pick up a woman remember are you and she at age at the same time God spare life you might turn me might turn 85 and she is 87 Trust me. And at that time, unstoppable, she, she might not can't even bring a cup of water to come give me. Because both of we may be in a nursing home together. You know, my dad come and bring a cup of water to give me, me pick me them. So me not turn my back on my pick me them for no woman. None. Was there ever a point in time where you put, like, put your foot down and say, listen to me, man. I'm your husband. I'm the man in this house and these are my kids and I'm going to take care of them. Was there ever a time where you put your foot down and, and, and make sure you know that? Me do that several times. Several times. Many, many, many times me do that. But this woman is ruthless and heartless. Many, 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 many times me do that. Many times. It's like, hey, me go, go, me go in at it. That, that is how come at this present stage now that is why it is how it is that made this kind of thing then by my uncle go and hide it you understand me this kind of thing by my uncle go and hide it because me went to me open a separate account so me have me, me have some money for myself now so me go shop for me pick me them make a buy all the latest all the fancy things for me pick me them 
you know, my daughter was overboard, look, unstoppable. In order for me to get to go and see me pick me, you know what me had to do? Me had to leave this house like if me going to work. Me got a, me got a, um, a store, me buy two suitcases. Come with it, don't buy me ticket, me call me, cause me tell me, cause me say, hey, buy a ticket for me. Me left normal like if me going to work and me jump on a plane, me go back home. And, the, and that's how come me come for see me pick me, me come back quiet. And up to now, she not know nothing. She know nothing. That is how I went and see my picnic them. And you know, you know one thing she said? She said, not Andy, she dead body, me picnic them coming to America. She said that, not Andy, she dead body, my picnic. I have to remember, eh? Although me get me papers, even if me put in for me picnic them, she still have to sign. You see? She still have to sign. And one time I asked her, I said, we me pick me them, do you, man? I said, we make you hate them so much. Do them, do you? Hmm? We might pick me them, do you? Make you hate them to blood. Them not do you nothing. Them not do you nothing. You know, me had, me had women in my, in my past with my baby mother, them I, I, I had argument and thing. And, when they go move from one baby mother, they go live with the other baby mother. They might encourage me, hey, don't forget, you have to carry money, get a girl. Hey, don't forget, you have to buy school things. Yeah, hey, don't is, forget. That, that is what a, that you is know? What a normal, a seeing woman would do. That's right. That is what a good woman would do, especially a good wife. You know? So for here, that, 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 that wife that, is having a problem. See, I can, listen, I could understand if you were saying, hey, she have a problem with you sending um, money differently for your baby mother, a job, uh, um, wherever, right? I could understand, mm -hmm. that, right? But mm -hmm. that's not the case. That's not what you're saying. You're saying she's having a problem with you even communicating with your kids. That right there is a problem. That's right. That's right. Um, do you have kids with this woman? No. You no, plan no to kids. Have, you plan to have kids with this woman? Hell no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Can I have? Can I, I this woman? Have, I let me tell you something. Question. This woman, you know, and you know, you know, Miss Sidon, unstoppable. This thing affect me so much, brother. Like sometimes I want to feel like if me a gold me head, you know, honestly, because you know why? Because me have never ever in my lifetime come across a woman like this woman. And stop about me what I understand if we didn't have it. And me, she was struggling. And I was taking out a little bit. Go and send to my baby mother and thing. I would understand that for several hey, You have to build yourself first. And then able to look, you know, send her money. But stop about we have it till it pouring over. And still yet, you know what? Me give me picking them nothing. You know how me view it is this. If you're with somebody, that person should, you know, accept you. And if you have children before that person, they should accept your children as well. If you're going to be with somebody and that person is not going to accept your kids, then that is something that will not work from the get-go. So that woman right there was extremely wrong. I tell the man, say, send one toothbrush to him. Pity them one, one, one dollar toothbrush. Are you there for him? I go tell the man, say, only send 40 dollar. To him pitney them. And you get upset when the man daughter call him and tell him say she hungry. No man. What kind of stepmother do things like that? But family, if you want to listen to the rest of what was shared in this story, click the link in the description and it will also be pinned in the comment section as well. It will take you over to Unstoppable Live where you can listen to the full story in its entirety, right? When you go over there, leave a comment in the comment section and let us know that you came over from the recap channel. And also hit the subscribe button over there as well. Turn on all notifications. You will not miss the live streams when we go live, all right? Here we go on. Hit the subscribe button over here as well, so that once we drop a recap, you're not miss it. See? Until the next Unstoppable Recap, stay strong, stay motivated, but most of all, remain unstoppable. Unstoppable.